I just produced this groovy tackle speed in under 60 minutes. It was a very simple idea. So I just basically found in my browser this loop here. This loop already has a low pass filter, so I'm just gonna quickly go here and show you the same loop. And I realized that if I just use this loop and just play this loop very basically 30, 50, 60 times in one beat, that would become really, really boring. So I realized that this specific loop, it is already really, really busy. There's like a saxophone and trumpets and stuff playing and like there are like a lot of harmonies that's happening here. So I just thought I need to like chop it up and I chopped it up really, really intensely here. If I put vocals on top of this loop, it will be too busy. So I just chopped it up, put it here. Then obviously just use a kick here and then the height pattern is a very simple, very simple. My whole template looked like this already vocals and stuff and drums and I had this drum bus automation as well. I had as well this reverb master bus. If you by the way want to get a template to save yourself heaps of time producing music, based, this is the template you're gonna get. You're gonna get like all those channels already assigned with like snares, hi-hats, all this stuff. There's already high pass, low pass filters installed for MFL Studio. You're gonna save yourself heaps of time on the master bus. There's like a lot of that's Edison, Newtone as well. Everything is already assigned. Every channel has an auxiliary channel. You can completely process reverbs independently from the instrument. So they definitely go in the link under the description. You can get this template to support me as a, as a musician. And there's also vocal channels and all this kind of stuff, vocal delay, long reverb and all this stuff. And it's gonna save yourself heaps of time. And that whole track is almost actually done, even the breakdown. Obviously, obviously a low pass filter. And with the low pass filter, I realized that I need some vocals. So I just put, took those vocals from Splice. Splice. I want to add some more elements here. I'm not too sure exactly what to do here then, but we're going to see. And by the way, this effect here, I just want to quickly show you one effect before I show you the build up. This like tape stop automation. So it's basically a plugin, which is called obviously Tape Stop. I think it's called KHS Tape Stop. And with that thing, you can basically, you just have to install that automation. You just have to press this button and then you go on this little thing here and then press, yeah, create automation clips. And then it's gonna just put the automation clip into the playlist. And then it, just before the, that's, that's the automation for that. Just before the drop hits, you just do this automation. And that's gonna create a very interesting moment. Let's go to the build up now. Master automation as well. What I'm thinking about is on the second part of the drop, I want to create a different pattern, like a different rhythm for those trum trumpets. Because it's, it, it is very repetitive if you do like that, because the whole track, the whole is the whole thing is, what, two minutes and, what, two minutes and 30 seconds long, which is not really long. It's obviously a radio edit version yet. And I didn't do any mixing. I just like, I didn't even do it with headphones. I just sat on my bed and just made, created the speed within like less than 60 minutes. Also comment below this video, what exactly you think I should change on this track. Is there anything I should work on? Is there anything I should focus on more? But um, I really like it. So definitely make sure you comment below to tell me what you would change on this track. If you haven't checked out my other video, how to mix the kick and the bass properly from your tech house tracks, make sure you check out this video here. This is the baseline, by the way, this is the one shot from a baseline. It's a Moog bass from the Joko sample pack. Yeah, I'm gonna work on the, on the end as well a bit. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Make sure you like it, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.